Lord, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless. How we doing? Thank God for yes, another sir. midweek service. Yes. That he yes. has allowed us to assemble together in his name. Yes, Lord. We have another uh, another lesson today by the power by the will of God mm -hmm. and, and the power of the Holy Ghost. This one entitled, uh, Yield Yourself Unto God. Yield Yourself Unto God. This one will be coming out of the book of Romans, the sixth chapter. And our focus verse tonight will be the 13th verse. And so we're going to pray before we get started. Well, bow our heads, be gracious to him, Father, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, we just come tonight thanking you once again for your tender mercy and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for a mind to be assembled together to hear your word, Father God, for we know that you are your word, you and your word, Lord God, are all that we have. Yes, we know Lord. that you are soon to come and that you are preparing us, your people, your, your church, your bride, for the big eternal uh, wedding of the eternal life, Lord God. We pray that you are soon to come, soon to return, and we pray that we will be ready, each and every one of us, when you return. We pray that we have set all, all our weight and sins aside, and uh, we are ready to be caught up in the air to meet you, Lord. And we just thank you. We pray that you would move on tonight. According to thine will and your spirit, you say when two or three were gathered, that you would be in the midst. Speak to us, Lord God, expressly, directly. Yes, Lord. And we'll praise you, glorify you in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 We thank God once again for uh, new beginnings. Uh, thank God for your generosity, your liberality. I'm confident that the Lord will bless you according. For the Lord loves a cheerful giver. Yes. Those who give freely from their heart, you know that the Lord will bless your effort, your worship. That's a part of worship unto God, all thy substance and all thy increase. All things belong to God anyway. Mm -hmm. and so we thank God for that type of a spirit, that type of heart. Tonight we have another lesson. Yield yourselves unto God. Mm -hmm. uh, Sixth chapter of the book of Romans, 13th verse. I'll be reading from the King James and follow the verse that you read. 613 says, Neither yield your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves uh, unto God as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God instruments in this text are, are, are weapons. That's not what we're dealing with, but it's interesting points. Neither yield your members as instruments of unrighteousness. Neither yield your members as weapons of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourself unto God as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as weapons of righteousness unto God. He said, uh, yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead. We're going to get into that a little more in our next lesson. But we're going to kind of introduce it tonight. The body of Christ, those of us that have been born again, those of us that have been baptized in Jesus' name, filled with the Holy Ghost, we are alive from the dead. Mm -hmm. We are alive from the dead. And uh, like I said, we're going to get into more of that next lesson. 
And uh, it's kind of burning my, kind of burning me, but under, take this, take this, this little thought with you. We, those of us that have been born again, we are alive, we are alive from the dead. Before we, before we repented of our sins, before we were baptized for the remission of them, and before we were filled with the Spirit, we was dead in trespasses and sin. We were dead. Now, uh, in our weapons, our instruments, our weapons, were weapons of uh, unrighteousness, mm -hmm. unto sin. Now, our weapons, our instruments, uh, that now that we are alive from the dead, our weapons are instruments unto righteousness, unto God. So, the thought tonight, the lesson tonight, is to yield yourself unto God. As, uh, as you are alive from the dead, in other words, since we are alive from the dead, we no longer living that dead life, a, a dead life of unrighteousness and sin. So since we are alive from the dead, he said, yield, yield yourselves uh, unto righteousness, uh, unto God. Now that word yield says relinquish possession of something Give something up, surrender, deliver up, hand over, turn over, give over, present to be at hand or ready, bring before, to assent to authority, to rely by inward certainty. This is what we're dealing with tonight as Paul is urging the Romans to yield, as he is urging the body of Christ to yield yourself. All this description of yield, after, after each description, you can put yourself, I can put myself behind it and say, relinquish possession of yourself. It says, give uh, up yourself, surrender yourself. Deliver up, hand over, turn over, give over, present yourself unto God, myself unto God. This is the urgent, this is what the body of Christ, this is what we have to do. Because the understanding is we are alive from the dead. Mm -hmm. So we have to relinquish ourselves unto God. We take our time so we understand what the urgency is. The sixth chapter, and I believe the fourth verse, it says, Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in the newness of life. Yield yourself unto God. Relinquish yourself, myself, unto God as those that are alive from the, from the dead. This is the understanding for the body of Christ. We have been quickened. We were buried with Christ in baptism. Mm -hmm. And like Christ was raised up by the Father, we was also raised up when we were filled with the Holy Ghost to, to we were quickened to be able to walk in the newness of life. Alive. We are alive now. Right. We are alive. So we are to relinquish ourselves unto God as though we are alive. And, and we're not, we don't continue to live a life as though we are uh, dead trespasses and sin. The Bible says, what if uh, we don't believe? Does that make the word of God of none effect? No. God forbid. You and I must understand that we have been quickened together in our trespasses and, 
We have been quickened. We have been made alive. And our, uh, he quickened us in our trespasses and sin. We have been made alive. We are urged as the body of Christ to walk in the newness of life as instruments or weapons unto righteousness of God. No more, no more do we yield ourselves as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin. We have been made alive. We don't do we don't live in that manner anymore. We don't, we don't render evil for evil. That's a dead life. But we overcome evil for good. That's yielding to God. That's a life that's alive by the power of the Holy Spirit, not by the power of the flesh. The power of the flesh, mm, trouble. So this is what he is urging the body of Christ. This is the manner of life that we are to live, a yielded life unto God, a yielded life unto God. It does not matter what the situation is. The moment, the moment that we handle it in the manner of the dead, the flesh, the Lord is calling for repentance. We can no longer, those, the body of Christ, the called out believer, the baptized believer, saints of God, the church, we can no longer live this life according to the flesh. We can't do it. We cannot continue to justify, well, you know, we flesh, I'm in the flesh. We can no longer live this life according to the human nature. That's all flesh is, human nature. Human nature it's enmity to God. It opposes God. It's carnal. The carnal mind is, is, is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can it be. But listen to what he tells you and I. He tells you and I to yield ourselves unto God as those that are alive. We are alive. And so we don't have to yield until, we don't have to yield to sin. We don't have to yield to the weapons of unrighteousness or the instruments of unrighteousness. All right. We are to yield ourselves unto God, like I say, regardless of the situation. As a, as, a, as a child of God, we have to get out of the habit of uh, looking for the compromise or looking for the justification in, 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 in a potential error. We are urged, we are urged to yield to God our lives, regardless of the situation. Because, why? Because we are alive in Christ. We are risen in Christ. We are living a new life in Christ. We don't, we no longer live according to that man that was buried. Romans 6, 16. Mm -hmm. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, <clears throat> his servants ye are to whom ye obey. Whether of sin unto death, there we go. The sin is death. And so, oh my God, sin is death. So anytime and every time we, we're operating or functioning outside of the word of God, we're operating in death, in sin. There is no justification, there is no, <clears throat> there is no compromising point. That's, it's a lack of faith. It's a lack of faith. Anytime we operate uh, contrary or opposite to the word of God, it doesn't matter what's going on. Ah. Scripture even encourages us to be faithful unto death. Oh my God. But anyway, we don't get off of that, but or of obedience unto righteousness. Romans 6 19 says, I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh. For as ye have yielded your member servant 
to uncleanness and to iniquity unto iniquity. Even so now yield your members servants to righteousness unto holiness. We are urged as the body of Christ, we are urged to relinquish our self. We are urged to give up, to present ourselves uh, members, or to present our members servants to righteousness mm -hmm. unto holiness. Holiness is not clothes. Holiness is not clothes. Holiness is sanctification. Right. Sanctification is yielding to the word of God uh, as you are alive from the dead. Oh my God, put this, we have to put this together. Uh, yield your members, servants, unto righteousness, unto holiness, mm -hmm. unto sanctification, unto uh, a difference. We have to yield our members, servants, unto righteousness, unto holiness, which is sanctification, which is simply obedient to the word of God. Simple obedience to the word of God. Uh, everything the word of God declares that we do, we must do. Loving our uh, neighbor as ourselves. Mm -hmm. That's holiness. Loving your enemy. That's holiness. Mm -hmm. These things that the word of God have declared over you and I as the body of Christ, as members of the body, we have to yield to them. That's holiness. That's sanctification. That's being set apart. That's the only way you and I are justified and sanctified and sanctified. Mm -hmm. If we have to be obedient to the word. He said if they if they steal if they steal uh, your cloak if they steal your sweater, offer him your coat. Mm -hmm. All right. This is yielding yourself unto God for righteousness. Romans 12 and 1. This is more direct. Paul is speaking more direct. Romans 12 and 1. He said, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, that you present your body, that you yield yourself. Yield yourself. Present yourself. Yield yourself. Relinquish possession of yourself. Stop living on how you think. Stop living on how you feel. Ah. That is not presenting yourself. That is not relinquishing yourself. That is what the Bible said. That is trying to save yourself. And he said, those that try to save themselves shall lose it. Those that try to save their life, he said, shall lose it. If you want to gain your life, you have to lose it. Mm -hmm. You have to relinquish yourself. He said, he said, accept. Uh, 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 a grain of wheat. He said, except a grain of wheat fall to the ground and die, say, it abided alone. He said, but if it fall to the ground and die, guess what? It'll produce much fruit. Mm -hmm. You and I won't produce nothing but chaos if we are alive in the flesh. Right. We have to die. All right. As long as we are, he said, as long as that that grain of seed is alive, or it's in, it's in your hand or in my hand, it's dead. He said, but the minute we bury, ah, who you got to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church? The minute we bury ourselves, kill ourselves in this flesh, that's when we bring forth fruit. He said, if you put that seed in the ground All right. and water it, what, weed it, whatever, watch how that seed turn into a tree or whatever, whatever the seed was. 
That's the same with you and I spiritually. Unless we put this flesh in the ground and kill it, we don't, we don't produce spiritual fruit. We don't produce righteousness. We don't produce holiness, which is sanctification. Mm -hmm. We are just like everybody else. Right. There is no sanctification, which means holiness, which means set apart. Sanctification, which means set apart. Mm -hmm. He said, come out from amongst them. Touch not the unclean thing. Mm -hmm. He said, and I will be your God and you'll be my people. Yield yourselves, yield myself unto God. Uh, Paul is speaking more direct, 12 and 1. Beseech you, brethren, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Yield your body a living sacrifice. Tired, don't want to go, don't want to do it, hurt, whatever. Yield it. Sacrifice. Right. It says holy, mm -hmm. acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service, right. which is my reasonable service. I have no excuse. Mm -hmm. I have no excuse not to live a sanctified, set apart life. God has filled me with his Holy Ghost. I have his spirit. There is no reason that I cannot live a sanctified, holy life. He said that I shall receive power once the Holy Ghost comes up on me. So when I'm confronted in a situation, it's a trial of my faith. Of my faith. It's a test of my spirit to see if I will yield myself unto God, unto righteousness, or will I yield myself unto sin and death, which is unrighteous. And there's no justification. There's no compromise there. We have to get out of that. That mentality that say, well, God understands. God knows. God is calling for you and I to live a sanctified life. Why? Because that is the only way we glorify God. We, you and I will never glorify God in this flesh. All right. Flesh and blood, not only did he say we'll not inherit the kingdom of God, he said, but those of us that are in flesh and blood, he said, that we don't, we don't even please God. Mm. The right. only way you and I can glorify God is to yield ourselves unto him. He said, present your body a living sacrifice. What that mean? That, that means, whoo, that don't mean present yourself as it's, as it's easy or as you want to do it. I'm going to get off of that. <clears throat> All right. Psalms 50 and 14 says, look, offer unto God thanksgiving and pay thy vow unto the Most High. That's what we were just talking about. You and I, you and I are required to live a sanctified life, regardless of the situation. A sanctified life is a life yielded unto God. Don't get afraid or thrown off by these big words. It is simply relinquishing possession of yourself, myself, to God in every situation. That's all it means. Go to the, if you pull up at the stop sign at the same time, you know how to yield to the other driver. Just let them go. It's the same thing. If you yield yourself, I yield myself unto God. In toxic and hectic situations, just let it go. All right. Just let it go. What we both gonna do? Just take off at the same time and, and cause an accident? And, and, and then try to argue about a right away. As a child of God, the only right away we have is yielding ourselves under God. 
Because the Lord is the avenger of us all. And if I'm still fighting my battle, then I'm not yielded to God. If I'm still fighting every battle I come across, <laughs> whoo, I'm not yielded to God. I'm going to move off of that. It's not difficult. It's just simply obeying the word of God. The Lord said, hold your peace. Let the Lord fight your back. Yes. He said, be swift to hear and be slow to speak. That's yielding unto God. To do otherwise is yielding unto righteousness, weapons of, of evil, unrighteousness. God don't get glory out of that. And, and then we quick to justify, but there's no justification. That's simple disobedience. Uh, so you and I are urged to yield. Mm -hmm. Yield. He said, pay your money. He said, look. He said, offer unto God thanksgiving. Give God thanks. The Bible says, if he said, if all things, give God thanks. He said, this is the will of God for you and I in Christ Jesus. Wow. This is the will of God concerning you and I in Christ Jesus. That in all things, give God thanks. He said, give, he said, offer unto God. Relinquish your possession possession of yourself unto God, he said, in, in thanksgiving. He said, and pay thy vow to the most high. Mm -hmm. What you think your vow is? You think my vow is? My redeemed life. My atoned life. My propitiated life. I can't get back, I can't go back, I can't go back over or go back before the crucifixion and holler by Christ. No. Uh, let me move on for that. Psalm 73 and 28. But it is good for me to draw.